Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Man the Maker. Welcome to another episode of Star Traders Frontiers. I forgot what I was doing here for a second. Where am I? Um, we are on Shepherd Cross right now. Have just had the fight of our life. Fortunately, we did lose a pistolier. Um, I would like. I like them. I'm gonna. I'm gonna recruit more of them and uh, see if we can get good ones. I mean, they're at level four, which is a bummer. Uh, no, no. I, I need them to be at least like 22 for me to really be happy with that. No, also not you. Um, More pistoliers, please. I think that's all of the bonus things, the leveled up guys I have. 12 to 22? Okay. Yeah, okay. We can We can work with that. Pretty good quickness as well. Range attack accuracy. Respectable fortitude and resistance. I approve. Welcome to the team. You will, of course, just start off with your fading shot, as you do. You know, that's fine. Uh, we're going to need to level you up as quick as we can, but eh, it is what it is. Uh, Kiara, you're not the good one, right? No. Goodbye. Goodbye, Kiara. Okay, well, we've uh, replaced... That individual, I mean, we could go with two soldiers here. That's just crazy. That's just insane to me. No. No. Pistoliers. Okay, well, what are we doing? Um, I took a look. This one is back in the direction we came. That one is uh, over here. The other one, the pirate hunt, brings us way out to here. I think I'm just going to do this one first. We're going to gun it straight there. We're going to go find this freaking pirate. We're going to track him down, kill him, and get this blade. We can bring all this stuff back. Right? And be loved. And uh, hopefully, I think we get an... We, I mean, I not think. I know. I know we get an unlock for this. Um, what? I don't recall, per se. I don't remember what we do unlock there, but I know we do unlock something. Um, there's something to be said about, like, getting into fights on our way and trying to level up our crew. This is interesting. Zero? Hmm, that's, that's not right. <laughs> Pay our wages, level up some people. Two people, in fact. Uh, we can take you off. Boop, boop. Hey, you've leveled up. It's been a while. Quartermaster. You are just a bureaucrat, aren't you, right? That's what you do. We're, we're perfectly happy with that. Um, bounty Hunter. Nice. I hope you've actually gained another talent. <sighs> I mean, it might be nice to have something if we get into this situation. No. No. No, we can't even use any of these because we don't have the valid weapons. I mean, the bio poison grenades, yes. We can. Toxin Terror we can also do. Um... Steadfast aim, no. The blood game, bleh, no. I mean, I will just use your talent. Let's give, let's give you blood game, sure. Why not? Blood game, done. Um, we just want him to level up to five. Two more levels, right, for the bounty hunter. Your three, two more levels. Which he will get. I think it's a max, right? I don't remember what it is, but there is a max. Never actually reached it. Um, but we will get it. And all we care about is just getting to five. There's nothing else we can do to get higher initiative, which is really the only thing that, like, you know, I'm really concerned about. I'm interested in... Uh, well, we can probably sell stuff here. Probably get us sold stuff at that last place that we stopped. Just give me your money. I mean, money is just a non-issue, non right? There's nothing I really want to buy. I don't think there's anything I really want to upgrade my ship with anymore. Can I sell stuff here? Electronic components. Sure. Uh, these can also be sold. Sure. Privia blooms can be, but I'll just hold on to them. Pay them wages. Level up a crew. Oh, Commander, you've leveled up. It's been a long time. Shrewd Dealings, Bolster. This I kind of like. Inspiring inspiring Squadron. Uh, we have Steady Hands already, yeah. It's 
Targeting Squadron, I mean, the hit chance, the evasion, the shield, and the armor is like, I want to have that evasion and the hit chance if I want it. It's good. I'm, I'm happy with that. Let's just flood that with even more talents, right? <laughs> just even, even more when we get into ship combat. It's kind of an absurd amount of stuff. Um, Javat Orbital Station. I, I gotta remember what, what you can even be sold on Orbital. But we don't have permits with Javat, so... Not the most useful, right? We do. Okay. Oh yeah, I'll sell it. Gain some rep with you, Octavio? Alright. Oh yeah, it's level 3. You have very bad influence, sir. Very bad. No, you are not. You are not doing well. No, but we're not going to dilly dally, right? We're just going to go fly straight there. We don't have to do anything. We just take people's money, lose one rep with Rykart. I, I don't. I don't really care about that. We just want to go hunt this pirate down. We'll be able to make it all the way up there, which is nice. Military officer, just take your money. Military officer, yeah, we lose one rep with Alta Mesa. I have not paid that any attention. I have no idea what my rep is with anybody, if I'm going to be totally honest here. Really, not a damn clue. Let's look. Does anybody not like me? Hana? And then everyone else does like me. Yeah, a fair amount, even. Okay, great. Then we can continue not having to pay any attention to that. Oh, we did level up somebody. And we've arrived at the world where the pirate last was found. Just go ahead and dock here. No medical services. It's pretty annoying. Who's leveled up? Oh, a doctor. Uh, solace in battle is pretty good. Yeah. Nice way to boost that morale. We will take it. And um, now we will go and try and hunt down this pirate. I don't want the Xeno. Mission success would be nice. All right. Gained mission success. We've pinpointed the pirate's base. Black Eye and his crew are definitely there. Our main objective is to take him down. He may or may not be welding James Blade, but it's sure to be somewhere near his person. Get ready, crew. Let's catch him with their boots off. Uh, we want to fight them. Yeah. Orbital surprise. At the base located, we can wait patiently in orbit until the pirate Black Eye ship is spotted lifting off. Then we will strike. Hell yeah, we will fight this guy. Shutter strike pattern, bombing run. I suspect she's gonna do pretty poorly against us. I don't know. Uh, no, we can stop shooting. Um, probably just Aegis pattern. Aegis pattern. Shoot one gun. We can scatter shot him. I'm okay taking a hit from him. He's got over a hundred morale. Over a hundred average morale, good for him. Yeah. Vigilant scan is boosting your accuracy. Well done, sir. Still missing. Huh? You hit us once. I wonder if he will can run. Scatter shot has been applied. We can just go for the evasive maneuvers now. Make it really hard for him to hit us. Uh like so. He also doesn't have very many weapons. Honestly, after the fights that we've been getting into with the Xeno and this guy, I mean, what is he going to do? What is he going to do? Nothing. He's, gonna, he's, about to get, he's about to get ravaged is what's going to happen. Yeah, we'll go with the honoring calculations. Wild flying, an interesting choice. Yeah. I feel much more confident doing this than... Uh, Oh yeah, that's a lot of damage. Um, then fighting him in combat, in crew combat. Nice with the crit, that's what we wanted. We love those crits, and now... We can just blow you out of the water. ECCM surge applied. Uh, I'm not too worried about it, because we're probably just going to wreck you completely right now. Yeah, you hit my craft, that's okay. Um, if I just blow you up... Do I then get your blade? Or does it like blow up in the wreckage and I fail the mission? We now, I mean, I didn't even know about the capacity to fail the vignettes. Now I know. Um, yes, you're just gonna blow up now. 
The ship is collapsing. What does it mean? We've successfully completed the aims of our mission. Only debris remains. I mean, we can, of course, do some triage. I don't know if we need more triage. Apparently. Yeah, he did hit us. Um, orchestrated warfare patch? No. Orchestrated salvage? Okay. Leave. Captain Black, Black Eye paid for his piracy with his life. You'll have to decide what the rest of the crew deserves, but we've recovered the blade, Captain. Has been added to our inventory. Covered the blade. Oh, really? And the reverse legacy is done. We've been, we've done the unlock. So we don't even need to turn it back in. I mean, we'll just set this as a waypoint. We've we've got the void sextant. We need to do it for what's her name. Um, anybody interested in the Dibravesh Blade Level 11? Dude. <sighs> Much higher uh, piercing. Uses only seven initiative. Much higher accuracy, higher parry. I think it's just going to sit in our inventory now. But we got it. <laughs> but we got it. And we also, I mean, we, we got the unlock. I think this gives us starting. You can start as a salvager. Is that right? I'm not sure. But nonetheless, I'm, I mean, it is nice to get the unlocks. Because, again, I, I, what I've said from the beginning... Uh, my play style has not lent itself. Well, it's not my play style. It's how I play on YouTube in particular, right? First of all, I play on very high difficulty, so I tend to die a lot. This is why we're on hard now, because I actually wanted to survive. I wanted to play until the mid and late game. And uh, I, I'm not good enough at doing that in crook in ship combat. Getting into ship combat, I can't do it. I can do it uh, if we avoid ship combat. But I wanted to do ship combat this time. So, uh, you know, that's why I did this. Um, also, like, what ends up happening in the, when I play in non-ship combat is, you know, I get to the point where I'm unkillable because I can always escape. Skip off the voids times three means you're pretty much invincible. Um... And uh, oh, I lost my train of thought. It's, it's getting late. It's late, late night now. Um, yeah, I just, I honestly, I get a little bit bored. <laughs> I get a little bit bored. I'm like, yeah, you know, I've done, like, I, I can't be killed. There's no risk. You know, I, I can go around and make money and do limited amounts of things. Um, I don't, I don't know what to do with you ever, people. Uh, knock from the void, just knock them all out of the void. It seems pretty good. Navigator, yeah, I don't know. Uh, these when in these like peaceful playthroughs, I just end up feeling so safe and secure that I'm like, yeah, okay, I don't think I need to do this. I'll, I don't think I'll pick up another skip of the void. Can't be too careful. Can't be too, too careful. I mean, we don't want to well, rest on our laurels. We're fighting whoever we want, and nobody can uh, nobody can hurt us. One great thing about this series is I really, I did learn quite a bit about how ship combat works, right? Because I've actually engaged in it um, enough to kind of understand more the value of armor and shielding and how a bit more like electronics and defense works and all this kind of stuff. Um, so that's like, that's a lesson that I'm very, very, very happy that I've taken away. Starport Commander? I can, uh, promote rank with you? No, beyond contact max. No, you're just a star, <laughs> you're just a Starport Commander, man. You cannot, you do not have the authority to make me, uh, even higher in rank. Curious, I wonder, I mean... That's, that could be like kind of my next situation here. Can you boost my rank? 
No, just weaponry. Level some more crew up. Oh, a bomber has finally leveled up again. An alarming pass, ruthless destruction. Vanguard scan. There's more damage, hit chance, and critical. Meh. The hull buster is kind of meh. I mean, so is Vanguard scan. Honestly, their abilities are... Once you get, like, some of the bombing talent, like... What do you need? Bombing run? Incendiary payload? Shutter strike. That's, that's all that I've ever really cared about. I could go for the hull buster. 40% damage. Okay. Okay. We'll do it. We'll do it. But let's just continue on. I think I've definitely learned like a crap ton about combat, which is great, right? I can apply that even if I'm doing a peaceful run. And I think my next run is not going to be peaceful. I think I'm going to kind of uh, try and do a little bit more close combat. Maybe go for salvaging slash exploration. They pair together uh, very well. Or you don't, you know, if you just have this hyper warp navigator, keep you alive. Or you get an early spy and you get bolt talent. Um, retired Xeno Hunter, you don't have anybody that I'm interested in. Do you? No. Could just recruit a pistolier, you know? It doesn't hurt. You can always just take a look. Maybe you're super, super, super good. Jesus, you are. Chance of resistance debuffs, 13 to 24. That is god tier. God tier. All right. Well, Maria, not as good. Sorry, tits. You're out. And you are in. Fading shot, of course. We take the accuracy and the armor. And, oh, we have to equip you. Mesh weave. And, uh, sure, secure line pistol, yeah. Did not do that before. It's a good thing I remembered that now. Um, alright. I want to, before the end of this episode, this is my last episode of the night, I really would like to wrap up this story. Right? You know? I mean, we've already got uh, the Duravesh Legacy, which is quite nice. And I mean, at this point, next, what we could kind of be looking at doing is just going to Rykart Worlds and trying to trigger this one vignette, the new one. Um, I don't know how to trigger other ones. I mean, you just kind of fly around and you do stuff. I could also do a little bit of research and, you know, actually aim for some of this stuff. Like, I know a lot of the unlocks are time-locked, right? You have to do X within X amount of time. Like, X blockades within, you know, two years. Or X explorations within five. Or Z fights with Xenos. Um, so we can't do that. But I could, I mean, I think all the only the other available unlocks to me still are vignettes. And I don't know how to, you know, how do you trigger them? I don't know. All right, can we make it? We can. Local trader is crumbling under pirate onslaught. Yeah, things are going poorly for a lot of people I've discovered. Take your money, bounty hunter. <laughs> Let's go wrap it up. We're gonna keep, uh, what's her name as well. I, I'm quite happy with her there. Blah, blah, blah. Shyla Whitclair, Mir de Ravesh. Mir, we have returned. Many welcome, Star Trader. I hope that you have good news for me. You have something that Mir would consider prized part of the Diravesh heritage. If we hand over Diravesh legacy, we would earn Captain Karen's freedom, which is all I need to uphold my bargain. It is all I need to stay on as your officer, Captain. The Relic Void Sextant is sure to fetch 30,000 from Mir's treasury. The Diravesh blade would be worth 45,000 if we turn over, but it might be very valuable to our combat team. If we wish to keep the Diravesh blade, we could do so by only mentioning the Sextant and still fulfill our promise. If we're looking to make the most profit, we should mention both. Well, I'm going to give the sextant. I just want to keep the blade. I'm never going to use it, probably, but maybe. Maybe we use the sword. It's been truly a relic from a lost time. After all these years, the inheritance of Jane de Ravesh has been brought to light once again. It must be an amazing tale of adventure and daring. Tell me everything. Bring out the spice, anything the captain and his officers desire. 
Mir reveled in the tale as if he himself had been there. He paid 30,000, yeah, and gained 10 rep with the Valtos, blah, blah, blah. I don't care about that. Left in our hands to tell Captain Kairn who still owes us his promised payment. Let's uh, go to Gus Kairn. We have Mir's word that you are free to go. The by the pit, let's not wage too many words. The void is calling my name. Gus, I won't be coming with you. Elsa, I wanted to thank you for everything you did for me. For giving me a place on your crew instead of booting me out at the next starport. You did that out of kindness of your heart. You've grown up into a formidable woman, Elsa. Thank you. And you've repaid me ten times over. In fact, I owe you credits. I promised a payment of ten thousand if you could help work something out with Mir. Somehow you convinced that pompous Devaltos. Gus! Oh, I'm gonna give you fifteen thousand. I wish I could do more. I need the rest to get the Espo bag into working order and to lure a new crew aboard. Lure. What a word. <laughs> As I said, the void calls. I have business in the starport. Paid us his money. There's the timer. This is goodbye, Captain Cairn. Back to the void where star traders should be. May the stars drop their curses at Mir. The Ravesh, I have important work to do. You're welcome. I'm sure my clients are clamoring for my services. A famous explorer is always busy. Been too long in the void. Good luck and goodbye. Mir de Ravesh, we have returned. Ah, I could give him a blade. Nah. That is all we are able to recover. Let me extend my heartfelt thanks, Star Trader. Please let me know I can repay you through my services. Yeah, no, you're, you've done great. Solid rumors. Pfft, fairly cheap. We could go with salvaging. <laughs> Pick up a salvage guy. I don't know, get some cool specialist gear? Well, these are thoughts for next time. Um, because this episode is over. We've done it. We got ourselves a beautiful... Beautiful unlock, completing another arc. We failed one in this session, you know, in this past. Uh, past it was really a shame about that. But, you know, what can I do? I tried. I thought my dice were strong. They were not. And so we failed. Um, now, it's interesting. It's still here. The unlock says all we have to do is liberate him. So maybe we need to gain Saint's trust a little bit more. I, I might ask about and see if there's a way to still do it. If I can, I'll, you know, we'll go back to it. So, hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Until next time, my name is Man the Maker. Take care, everybody. Have a wonderful day.